Good evening, everyone. I'm Cheryl toller weiss Associate Dean and Professor of Design. And I am Jonathan McKinda, Associate Dean and Associate Professor of Design. It is our pleasure to welcome you to the University of Illinois Chicago College of Architecture, Design, and the Arts Spring Commencement Ceremony. This commencement brings together members of the University of Illinois Chicago family, students, college administration, faculty and staff, relatives, alumni, and friends. Before we begin today's ceremony, to assure that everyone enjoys this meaningful event, would you please take a moment now to turn off or mute any electronic devices that may detract from the ceremony? Thank you. At this time, I present to you officers and administration of the University of Illinois Chicago and the College of Architecture, Design, and the Arts, our distinguished guests, and the faculty of the college.
Good evening. My name is Christine Mary Dunford, and I'm the director of the School of Theater and Music. Thank you. The USC Wind Ensemble performing this evening under the direction of faculty member and conductor Nicholas Carlson is composed of over 50 exceptional woodwind, brass, and percussion players from across the USC community. We are honored that they are taking a break from performing at over 10 university ceremonies to help us celebrate the accomplishments of their fellow students in the College of Architecture, Design, and the Arts. Joining the Wind Ensemble is the UIC Choirs under the direction of Liza Calisasi Maidens. The UIC Chamber of Choir is the Advanced Mixed Voice Choir within the School of Theater and Music. The UIC Choirs are open to all students on campus and offer opportunities for student leadership, service, and community. And choir students gain stronger appreciation for the choral arts and its relationship to the larger society. After the national anthem, you will hear two pieces performed by the choirs. The Times They Are a Changin' by Bob Dylan, and When I Grow Up by Connor Capine, with text from Cody Raven Morris. At this time, I would like to also congratulate the five wind ensemble music degree students and seven music degree students from the UIC choirs stepping out of the ensemble for a few moments to walk across the stage later this evening. I ask you now to stand if you are able as the UIC Wind Ensemble and the UIC Choirs perform the National Anthem.
In the spirit of healing and building a better future, let us take a moment to acknowledge that UIC resides on the traditional territories of the Three Fires people, Ojibwe, Odawa, and Bodawatomi. This area was also a site of trade, gathering, and healing for more than a dozen other Native tribes. Today, the state of Illinois is home to more than 75,000 tribal members, and the Chicagoland area is home to one of the largest and most diverse urban Native communities in the U.S. We recognize that Indigenous peoples are the traditional stewards of the land that we now occupy, living here long before Chicago was a city and still thriving here today. As we work together on these territories, today and in the days ahead, we must remember our responsibility, especially as a land grant and Asian American and Native American Pacific Islander serving institution, as a Hispanic serving institution, and as a minority serving institution, to find ways to right the historic wrongs of colonization and state violence, and to build bridges with and support indigenous communities struggle for self-determination and sovereignty. Good evening, and once again, welcome to the 2023 commencement ceremony for the College of Architecture, Design, and the Arts. I am Rebecca Rugg, Dean of the College, and can we just have another hand for our incredible musicians? We know that the musicians here are playing, you know, 15 other commencement ceremonies, I think, this week, but this is your favorite, right? It's their favorite. Excellent. It's now my privilege to introduce the distinguished members of our platform party. Timothy Killeen, President of the University of Illinois System. Nick Jones, Executive Vice President of the University of Illinois System. Karen Colley, Acting Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. Jamie Haney, Executive Assistant Dean for Academic and Student Services in the Graduate College. Kevin Bethune, Keynote Speaker and Founder and Creator Officer of the design firm Dreams, Design, and Life. Marsha Lawson, Director of the School of Design. Florencia Rodriguez, Director of the School of Architecture. Omar Hermansa, Director of the School of Art and Art History. Christine. Mary Dunford, Director of the School of Theater and Music. <laughs> Dina Taylor, Assistant Dean of Administration. Jonathan McKinda, Associate Dean for Faculty Affairs and Associate Professor of Design. Cheryl Taller weiss Associate Dean for Academic Programs and Associate Professor of Design. Tom Moss, Associate Dean of Student Affairs. Olivia Lewis, Student Speaker and Candidate for Bachelor of Science in Architecture. President Colleen, Executive President, President Jones, Provost Colley, Dean Haney, members of the faculty, graduates, families, and honored guests, welcome to our commencement. It is wonderful to be here with you tonight. Let's get a cheer for the class of 2023. <laughs> for today's graduates, congratulations to all of you for crossing the finish line. Today is all about you. Yeah, and it's also about everyone who got you here. So let's also give thanks to the support systems that got you through it. Your families, your friends, and your communities, your faculty, advisors, and mentors. <laughs> Through several waves of a pandemic, political and social upheaval, and any number of global and personal challenges, you are here. Take a moment to congratulate the people around you. Please be proud, you made it. For today's graduates, coronavirus was a gigantic part of your education. And as we longed for a return, it became clear that it could not be a return to where we were before. 
So for all of you who made it to the finish line today, the finish line of your degrees in the midst of the pandemic, now it truly is your time. It's time to stitch your future to your past and to leave these university halls. And I wanna just take a moment now to honor one person graduating today, not with a new diploma, but into retirement after a 48 year teaching career on our faculty at UIC and elsewhere, and also a career professionally in the field of graphic design. And this is the extraordinary Professor Philip Burton. Can you come up here? Philip, come up. UAC is so grateful for your service, Professor Burton. All right, so back to our graduates. Graduates, you are seekers and creators. You have figured out how to tell the story of what's happening around you, especially in these transformative years, and you will continue to tell it. Some of us create through performance with our bodies and our voices or with the sounds we make with our instruments. We design objects and graphics with ink or pixels and translate ideas in our head into buildings that soar. We paint we sculpt, we photograph and frame as we struggle to understand those who've been makers before us. We do all of this to shine a light and find our way forward. Go forward with your new ideas, your hope and your plans for all that you are going to create. You are ready to imagine another world and you're ready to fight for it. As you go into the future, you are also ready to remain in a creative community with this college as alumni. You carry all of us with you as you go, and we carry you in return. We can't wait to see what you do, and I speak for all the faculty here who are so proud of you and who've led you along this journey. And we all invite you to come back and tell us all about it. Congratulations. Woohoo! Now it is my privilege to introduce the 20th president of the University of Illinois, Dr. Tim Colleen. When he took office in 2015, Dr. Kaleen brought more than three decades of experience as a teacher, researcher, and administrator in public higher education and in top leadership positions with national scientific research agencies. Dr. Kaleen is committed to continuing the University of Illinois system's rise as a global leader through academic programs that transform students' lives and pioneering innovation that drives progress and economic growth. Please join me in welcoming the president of the University of Illinois System, Dr. Tim Killeen. Good evening. I am truly honored to be here with you all, students, families, friends, and particularly the graduates, uh, to celebrate one of the handful of days that you will really remember for the rest of your lives. On behalf of everybody across our University of Illinois system, your system, 24,000 faculty and staff, 95,000 students, 840,000 living alumni all around the world, congratulations to the UIC class of 2023. Way to go. Thank you for inviting me here to the had her to share in the culmination of this journey and to prepare for the next, the commencement. You came here to join an incredible community of world-renowned faculty members and fellow students who share your passion and your dreams. The growth that you achieved was more than an education in the strictest sense. It was a transformation, a growing sense of prowess and purpose. And now, more than ever, we need the arts. We need the beauty, the form, and the function of a thoughtfully designed, human-centered, physical landscape for human well-being into the future. In short, we need you. As a UIC graduate, you are ready to take your place in the world, and I look forward to your successes. Your path to this day was like no other graduating class. While the pandemic may seem in some ways like old news, I'm sure you have vivid memories of how your experiences were affected by the most daunting public health crisis of the last century. You didn't ask for this challenge and you couldn't plan for it, but you adapted, persevered, 
and in the end, you succeeded, and now we celebrate your success. Through your focus and your collaboration with classmates, you carried forward the phenomenal research, scholarship, and the creative arts that are the hallmarks of this wonderful World City's only public research university. And that was no small accomplishment. And UIC's role in developing and distributing COVID-19 vaccines while you were here played a significant role in getting us, all of us, to where we are today. But that wasn't the only journey you completed during your years at UIC. You arrived with your own unique experiences, your own ideas about the world, and your own stories. Then you met new people from different backgrounds and experiences and learned from them and learned with them. We hope that this has given you a better, deeper understanding of people, an understanding that they are not defined solely or are valued by demographics, belief, or politics. We also hope this gave you an appreciation from hearing and listening to one another, even when you have differences, without the anger that is so easy to fall into, but with patience and empathy. For far too many right now, that anger and rage is in the airwaves, and they become easy answers to the world's many challenges, but they're really no answer at all. So you now have the opportunity and the tool set to be part of the solutions we need to recognize and resist the temptation to retreat, to retreat into unfounded outrage. You are the antidote to ills that beset our society. You, the proud new graduates of UIC, are members of the great family, can be part of major solutions going forward and helping to celebrate the human experience. Y para todos nuestros graduados, para quienes el español es su primer idioma, realmente ha sido un gran viaje llegar a este momento. El hecho mismo de tu presencia aquí hoy demuestra todos sus logros. Nunca olvides todo lo que tuviste que superar durante su viaje de aprendizaje, el camino, las amistades y la trayectoria hacia adelante son de gran valor. Superas todas las adversidades. Y recuerde siempre, UIC también es tu hogar. Nuestra casa es tu casa. You are now joining a community. <laughs> Felicidades. You are now joining a community of more than 323,000 UIC alumni. That's a big city in it in of itself. And this digital world, you have a network is just a few mouse clicks away. Just wait a second or two be hit before you hit the send button. And there are more, as I said, 84,000 students in our system. So you're part of a big community. I'm immensely proud of who you are, what you represent, and what you've accomplished. You have the deepest respect of all of us. And we cannot wait to see the many, many ways that you will achieve success in this world. And remember, your UIC family will be with you every step of the way and waiting here, eager to share in your successes when you return. And you will return again and again and again and again. Congratulations, class of 2023. I would now like to introduce Acting Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. Karen Colley. Dr. Colley has served as UIC's Acting Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs since June 2022, her second time serving in this capacity. She has also served as the Dean of the Graduate College since 2012. A professor of biochemistry and molecular genetics in the College of Medicine, Dr. Colley also serves as the director to the Portal to Biomedical Research Careers post baccalaureate research education program, the pipeline to an inclusive faculty program, and as the editor in chief for the journal Glycobiology. Since joining UIC in 1991, she has been recognized as a university scholar, co founded and led the first umbrella graduate program at UIC, and served as the Associate Director of the Medical Scientist Training Program. Dr. Colley received her bachelor's degree in chemistry from Duke University and her PhD in biochemistry from Washington University, St. Louis, 
and later continued her, her training in cell and molecular biology as an NIH-funded postdoctoral fellow at UCLA. Okay. Well, thank you, Dean Rook, and good evening, everyone. I am so happy to be with you tonight to celebrate this fantastic graduating class. And I think um, you are different than any other class that's come before you. And this is your long-awaited and much-deserved celebration of all you've accomplished and all the new adventures before you. And I want to thank everyone here for coming tonight to help mark this special occasion for this graduating class. Um, to the families, friends, loved ones of the graduates here tonight, thank you not only for being here, but also more importantly, for being an invaluable source of support for these students during their time here. I think that all of them will agree that they couldn't have done it without you. I'm not gonna do this again. Let's thank your supporters, family, friends. An immense thank you to the countless professors, mentors, advisors, and staff in the College of Architecture, Design, and the Arts, and at UIC, whose support for and belief in you has helped them navigate, triumph over, and most importantly, learn from the challenges you have faced these last four years. Let's thank your professors. So graduates, you've made it. Alongside your friends, classmates, collaborators, you've achieved something truly remarkable and you should be exceptionally proud. While all students face obstacles during their studies, you've not only endured and overcome the disruptions and losses that occurred in your lives and our communities during the pandemic, but you've also demanded and continue to fight for a more just and inclusive future for generations that will come after you. And all of you have you left your own unique mark on UIC and on the world. Your legacy at, at UIC is one of resilience, a commitment to the pursuit of knowledge, a commitment to creation, and radical care for each other in your communities. UIC has become a greater institution because of your contributions. On behalf of everyone here tonight, thank you for letting us be part of your academic journey and your success. So no matter where life may lead you next, know that you're always part of UIC's community and that you're always welcome here. And more than that, please continue to come back, visit, share your successes with us, volunteer, contribute, and help us inspire and support the students who will follow you. So who are those individuals in this class? There are more than 230 students receiving their undergraduate degree and 60 earning their graduate degrees each exceptional in their own field and poised to lead and influence the future of our culture and in turn, our world. In almost no time, each of you will walk across the stage and your lives will change forever. You will become alumni of the University of Illinois Chicago. This new chapter in your life may bring a mix of emotions as you create your own path in the world. Undoubtedly, you're excited but I bet some of you are sort of nervous, and of course that's completely natural. But unlike your first days on campus, you will now move into the world equipped with new tools to succeed. The wisdom, lessons learned, skills honed, and networks of support that you've built in your time in the College of Architecture, Design, and the Arts and at UIC. These will be the keys to your success and the success of those around you. I want to encourage you to seize opportunities before you and keep growing and learning. Do not shy away from challenges and taking those unexpected paths, for you never know where they might lead. I joined UIC as an assistant professor 32 years ago, and I never would have imagined the way my path meandered around and where I'm standing right now. I have had many mentors who have encouraged me, provided opportunities for me, and challenged me. But one of my greatest mentors and supporters was my father, who would stop me in the, my tracks every time I would complain about an obstacle or challenge I was facing and say, 
but look at how much you are learning. This was, of course, a bit annoying at the beginning, but after he did it many, many times, I realized he was on to something. He was absolutely right. And in this spirit, I ask you not to shy away from taking risks, facing challenges, view them as learning experiences, and keep moving forward. Each of you has so much to give. You will never know where your path will take you, but I'm convinced all of you will make this world a better place. And so finally, to the class of 2023, congratulations once more. We are tremendously proud of each and every one of you. I prefer not to have that step there. Okay. Um, hi everyone, my name is Marcia Lawson. I'm director of the School of Design, and I'm pleased to introduce our keynote speaker for the evening, Kevin Bethune. Kevin is the founder and chief creative officer of Dreams Design and Life, a think tank that delivers design innovation services using a human-centered approach. Kevin's background spans engineering, business, and design in equal proportion over a 25-year career, which has positioned him to help deliver meaningful innovations to enrich people's lives. Kevin's work involves creative problem solving and it brings multidisciplinary teams together to see the future through what he describes as an open aperture and a deep industrial design approach to inform and influence desirable, feasible, and viable design outcomes. Like many of our own graduates, Kevin did not immediately discover design. He began his career as a mechanical engineer in the nuclear power industry. This chapter provided deep product experience working with high performance teams across 14 nuclear reactor upgrade campaigns. And thanks to Kevin's talk this morning, I know what that means. <laughs> um, after receiving his MBA, Kevin joined Nike, initially in a business capacity where he quickly navigated to the global footwear product group to lead their advanced digital product creation capabilities. This is where he discovered design. I think it also might be where he secured the really cool shoes he's wearing. After solidifying a creative foundation through advanced studies at Art Center College of Design, Kevin co-founded design and innovation capabilities at two management consulting firms, Booz and Company and the Boston Consulting Group. As vice president of strategic design at BCG Digital, he led a large cohort of designers that would influence and shape every new venture spun from the incubator. Kevin left BCG to carve his own path under the banner design, sorry, dreams, design, and life focusing on unlocking human potential through strategic design, industrial design, and the building of new ecologies. Kevin also serves as a board, uh, trust, a board of trustee for the Art Center College of Design and the board chair for the Design Management Institute. Please join me in welcoming Kevin Bethune. Good evening, everyone. President Colleen, Executive Vice President Jones, Provost Colley, Dean Haney, Dean Rugg, members of the faculty, graduates, and honored guests. I'm incredibly, incredibly honored to be speaking with you today. I've gained exposure to this fine institution and community actually through a podcast that I co-host <laughs> called The Design of Business, The Business of Design, and I'm actually co-hosting it with my good friend Dana Arnett, who's the founder and chairman of BSA Partners here in Chicago, another dear friend to the UIC community. We had Marsha Lawson on the podcast who invited me to speak today. Thank you, Marsha. And as well as faculty member Norman Teague. I felt the spirit and convictions of UIC through their stories, the way the UIC way of seeing your way of interacting, your way of making change in the world. It's an honor to be here at UIC. As I stand here humbled by this wonderful occasion for all of you, this moment causes me to reflect on my journey and the special role that my education played within it. I'm a living product of a very windy road. When people ask me what I do, I sometimes have to scratch my head. Uh, what I can say is that I've led a career that has exposed me to engineering, business, and design in equal proportion, and I've grown comfortable living at the intersections of these converging disciplines 
as it relates to unlocking innovation. With hindsight being 2020, I can confidently say that when I look back, curiosity has been the defining thread through every chapter of my experiences. My education has been a huge, huge catalyst, as I'm sure your UIC education will be for you and your future trajectory. To explain further, though, I have to go back to my youth where my early creative inclination started. And for me, drawing was my, my hobby. That was my thing. That was my first hobby. Uh, drawing was how I interpreted the world, how I saw, and how I expressed what was in my imagination. However, at that time, I couldn't connect my drawing to any sense of a formal career path. Being raised in the heart of the American automotive industry near Detroit, most folks around me worked for Big Auto. Most of the neighbors were factory workers, engineers, or business people. Those were the pragmatic paths that were often celebrated around me. And any notion of design or innovation or creativity were just like a thousand miles outside of my worldview at the time, for right, wrong, or indifferent. So I chose uh, mechanical engineering as a starting point because of my affinities for math and science on top of the drawing. And if there's anything I can say about my engineering education is that it taught me how to make sense of a physical world, to understand how things work. I applied my engineering education in a very unique space, uh, which at the time was very eager to hire young talent as they were facing what I would call a knowledge crisis and that they hadn't um, due to impending, uh, impending retirements. And that industry was the nuclear power industry. I cut my teeth on nuclear reactors, understanding what it meant to create great product and work with high performing teams to get stuff done. After some years of doing that, a natural curiosity for business arose in that experience because my curiosity led me to want to connect the dots to the bigger strategy around the engineering projects. I made friends with folks in the marketing department and engaged in stretch assignments to help inform new proposals. That curiosity eventually led me to an MBA, which was a great opportunity to formally add the language of business to my toolkit. While learning all I could in business school, that creative itch for my youth kept scratching, and I allowed that to at least inform the type of companies I would pursue uh, come graduation. Just wrestling with technology or business models was, was not gonna be enough. I wanted some exposure to creative capabilities too. And honestly, um, I didn't know for sure what that would mean for me, but at least that's where the heartstrings were tugging. Companies like Apple and Nike rose to the top of the list, and Nike gave me an opportunity to join them come graduation. So I started at Nike World Headquarters as a business planner, uh, charged with helping to roll up the numbers to help Nike executives engage Wall Street's questions during earnings release calls. I was mindful to the needs of that first job, but I was a product person deeply at heart. Eventually, I was able to navigate over to the Global Footwear product engine where I encountered professional design for the first time in my career, but also in conjunction with business and technology. I, I knew I was in the right environment to ask a lot of questions and to learn a ton. So while making friends among designers, I shared the drawings that represented my hobby. And the Jordan Footwear Design Director at the time, a man by the name of Dwayne Edwards, who's now the president of Pencil Lewis College, gave me my first shot to design a real product with my raw skill. So I would meet him at six in the morning, we would commiserate on the briefs, we would then go do our day jobs, and I would work on his stuff until the wee hours at night. After a year of doing that, we launched two footwear models under my design credits and his mentorship. That opportunity led to other stretch assignments in different parts of Nike, and little did I know those stretch assignments were taking me to a very big, a very major fork in the road. On one hand, I could have clawed and scratched another 10 years on side hustles before I would be fully pedigreed as a, designer's, as a designer in Nike's eyes, but meanwhile, the world was changing outside of Nike to appreciate this growing convergence between design, business, and tech. And I saw a little bit of myself in that. After much soul searching, I chose the other path and decided to quit my Nike job to go back to grad school, to solidify my creative foundation, and really accelerate my career positioning to focus on innovation for the rest of my career. To step away from the workforce for another two years of grad school, meant an incredible sacrifice, but not just for me. My wife was also at Nike, and we just had our first son. 
but the evidence trail of experience, uh, but the evidence trail of experiments helped her see and believe in my vision. And our son, we wanted this decision to be an example to him of what it means to go after your dreams. Fast forward, since leaving design school, I've had the privilege of serving as a co-founder and in an executive servant leader and shaping design and innovation capabilities for some really great brands and some really compelling startups. But I would be lying to tell you that this was easy. First, it wasn't easy to go back to the marketplace as a hybrid. Most companies are wired to celebrate, celebrate singular disciplines. And the bigger they grow, the more specialized their people become. It wasn't always welcome to reach out to folks over in the next department because of politics or uh, competing agendas. Meanwhile, you look outside the walls, the world is changing so fast, and the need to connect the dots more systematically could never be more present. It's in an organization's best interest to invest in capacity and bandwidth for multidisciplinary collaboration and allow teams the flexibility to balance short-term delivery with embracing a long view of future possibilities. Secondly, I am a black man who's navigated very unique multidisciplinary leaps. I experienced a lot of resistance from those who couldn't see me playing in certain arenas. In my first book, Reimagining Design, I speak a lot about my lived experience and some of the covert challenges at play. Constructive critique I will gladly take all day, but if you're resisting and not being fully clear about why you're resisting, it forces someone to guess the motivations or agenda at play. And that is not a fun place to be in, and it puts a terrible tax on people vulnerable to marginalization. Despite these adversities, investing in my education and experimenting on my curiosity, often outside of the day job, allowed me to stand in my ideal positioning with confidence and credibility, and definitely in alignment with what future needs wait for us over the horizon. No one can take that away. I had to learn that my career was mine, even amidst times of uncertainty. I had to learn that no matter the brand I worked for and no matter the resistance I may have faced. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am. You have to know yourself and believe in your own potential. You are more than worthy because there's only one of you. There's only one set of fingerprints you can leave on this world. And just know that the world really needs you right now. There are all kinds of gaps, mismatches, frictions, exclusion, cognitive disconnects all over the place. Organizations that claim to be world class at what they do are not addressing them still. So why not you? If you've ever doubted yourself, and sometimes you will, trust me on this, you will, lean into your curiosity, experiment, and make some evidence. Not just for others to see, but for you to have new information to find your way and to inform self-belief. After doing so, look at yourself in the mirror and remind yourself, why not you? If not you, who? In closing, I can only implore you to use the story that I shared as a mirror for yourself. To see yourself differently and understand that a lot is very possible for your life. And hopefully see ways that you can be a force for good within the organizations that you're a part of to make the world better. If not you, then who? So get to it, stay curious, Keep an open aperture, experiment, and hold up evidence to light your way. Congratulations on your graduation day. Thank you so much. Great teachers are the heart of a great university. Um, the University of Illinois Chicago annually recognizes and honors its outstanding faculty. 
Recipients of the Silver Circle Award are selected by our students who honor those who have taught them with distinction. This year's winner is Assistant Professor of Art Fahim Majid. Fahim is unable to attend the ceremony today, but, but he sends his best wishes and congratulations to you all and asks me to thank you for this incredible honor on his behalf. UIC recognizes graduates who have distinguished themselves in various ways during their academic careers. Will the following students please rise as they are able and remain standing. Graduates who've been members of the Honors College as designated by the gold stoles that you wear. And stay standing, stay standing, woo! Graduates with high academic achievements, summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude as designated by the gold, silver, and bronze cords that you wear. Please rise. Excellent. Congratulations. Please be seated. Good evening. Hola. I am Florencia Rodriguez, Director of the School of Architecture and it is my immense pleasure to introduce tonight the 2023 Student Commencement Speaker for the College of Architecture, Design and the Arts, Olivia Lewis. <laughs> Olivia is representing the School of Architecture as a candidate for a Bachelor of Science in Architecture. She started her college career in 2019, moving from Rockford, Illinois to Chicago. She joined the UIC Architecture Program as a President's Award Program Scholar and continued to achieve the honor of Dean's List for multiple semesters. Her work from the third year undergraduate studio, Society of Rooms, was featured in the 2022 year-end show. This project explored the connections between saturation of colors and texture and the amount of time a person might comfortably spend in a room. She received the Susan Neely Scholarship Award and Kevin K. Pierce Scholarship Award for this project. In addition to, to her academic achievements, Olivia expressed her leadership and teaching skills while at UIC. From 2020 to 2023, she served as one of the two UIC Architecture Student Advisory Board representatives for the class of 2023. With her fellow SAB members, she brought attention to key needs of the architecture student body to administration and faculty members. Her advocacy for the classmates resulted in the realization of new social outlets for students, building enhancements, and diversity among guest critics and for midterm and final reviews. As new director of the school, this past year, I found in Olivia a wonderful representation of how students can thrive, engage, and take an active role in their education. It has been a pleasure to collaborate with her. She's a brilliant, humble young woman, full of initiative and qualities to become a leader in her generation. Olivia also held a board member position as event coordinator for the UIC chapter of the American Institute of Architecture Students in 2022. In 2021 and 2022, alongside Associate Director of Undergraduate Affairs and Professor Antonio Torres, Olivia helped lead the higher summer program for high school students interested in exploring, exploring studies on architecture. She also mentored first year architecture students in Architecture 151 as a section leader for two consecutive years. Today, she's graduating magna cum laude. With that said, I'm honored to be presenting this evening's student speaker. Please join me in welcoming Olivia Lewis. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Florencia, for the introduction. I'd also like to thank President Killian, Executive Vice President Jones, Provost Colley, 
Dean Haney, Dean Rugg, members of the faculty, graduates, and honored guests for being here today. Your hard work and support is a vital piece in making these proceedings possible. My name is Olivia, and I'm honored to represent the graduating class of 2023. I began my studies at UIC with a singular idea about what architecture is. To me, architecture was a building. I have since been exposed to the many design fields architecture touches and have grown to develop an interest in exploring the community building opportunities architecture can produce. UIC has fostered an environment for me to make fond memories and I look forward to returning for graduate school this fall. I want to take the time to acknowledge the many different emotions and experiences of the past four years in this institution. For those of us that began our college career in fall 2019, that first year was filled with optimism. We experienced meeting new people, finding lifelong friends, and establishing a routine with the freedom of being a new college student. First semester came with its own challenges and rewards, and of course, the long-awaited anticipation for winter break to finally arrive. After returning back to school in January, the entire world was confronted with arguably one of the largest social and political setbacks in recent history. The once optimistic spirit of the months previous became tainted by whispers of medical emergencies, economic turmoil, and the inevitability of school becoming remote. I specifically remember sitting in my physics class being eased into the idea of potentially leaving the classroom setting temporarily. Then we had the longest spring break of our lives. We had to readjust our once strategically planned schedules that we were just beginning to solidify. Being an architecture student and working from home was a nightmare for me. Model making, drawing on the computer for hours and hours and hours, and not being able to socialize with fellow classmates was extremely isolating. I felt robbed of my glorified vision of the college experience. The next year began while still being on spring break. We had to navigate attentively attending remote classes from home while fighting the urge to snuggle in bed, being soothed to sleep by the sound of our professor's voices. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there were some unexpected setbacks, but also some surprising wins that came out of being remote. We had more time to spend with our family. We were able to make, take up new hobbies, or reignite past interests that had been set aside. I got busy in my kitchen baking while being in quarantine and I've absolutely perfected my banana bread recipe. I also found myself picking up new programs and technology that would ultimately help me with my projects in the future. I was also lucky enough to coach my high school girls track team part-time and reconnect with classmates and teachers that I hadn't seen in over a year. Ultimately, I think one of the best things to come out of working remotely was being able to be more flexible in our schedules and really understand our personal boundaries when it comes to socializing and also producing quality work. Third year brought back that optimism of coming to campus and seeing familiar faces in person again. We were finally returning to school for our year and a half long spring break. As we had only been together physically for less than an entire school year, socializing with classmates was somewhat awkward even though we could put faces to names and names to faces. At this point, we were all trying to make the best out of our new normal. Going to the gym with masks, spitting into a tube twice a week, and trying not to physically recoil when some random person in a room sneezed. Gradually, our entire class bonded over our shared experiences, and I believe created more impactful connections with our peers than we probably would have otherwise. Our last year was a momentous occasion for us to acknowledge the hardships that we faced at one point in time. But in the same way we looked at the past to reminisce on what was really an old life considering the circumstances of our school career, we must also stand in the present here today and celebrate this milestone of completing four unpredictably difficult and rewarding years of scholarship at UIC. An important theme to live by that became ever more apparent in the midst of the pandemic is to live in the present. Look at the people in your circle that are living this life with you. Look at the people in your circle that are living this life with you, the people here today that are supporting and celebrating you. Acknowledge those who may not be here physically, but are an integral piece of shaping who you are today. Recognize the person that you are in this moment the skills you have achieved, 
the challenges you have overcome, the lessons you have learned from making mistakes along the way. Be grateful for those mistakes and be willing to make more in the future. We are at the point in our lives where we get to decide how and where we blaze our own new path, no matter what your plans are after graduation. If that's joining the workforce in your chosen career path, pursuing other academic business ventures, continuing your education in higher learning, or taking a much needed sabbatical from schooling and work altogether, do everything with an attitude of excellence. We have chosen an education that has given us the tools of imagination to create a world of our own design. With those tools, we are going to challenge the norms, solve social and spatial problems, and have a hand in creating a more prosperous, joyful world to live in. This may seem like a daunting task, and in all reality, it probably is. But that will not stop us from pursuing the goals we have set for ourselves. Film director and writer Jennifer Lee puts it best. Be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. We are going to leave this arena as UIC flames, so let's set the world on fire. Thank you, everyone. We now come to the high point of our commencement, recognition of the new graduates. Your name recording will play as you cross the stage, and in the event of a technical difficulty, your name will be read. So please be patient to ensure that all graduates have the best experience possible. After you've crossed the stage, pick up your diploma cover, return to your seat, and remain seated for the remainder of the ceremony. It is my pleasure to introduce Jamie Haney, Graduate College Assistant Dean, who will present the candidates for graduate degrees in the College of Architecture, Design, and the Arts. Will the candidates for Doctor of Philosophy please rise as you are able. President Colleen, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by vote of the Senate, I have the honor to present the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy in Art History. Upon these recommendations and by the authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the Doctor of Philosophy degree for which you have been presented and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. Congratulations. Will the new Doctor of Philosophy graduates please approach the stage? Cassandra A. Smith. Mikolai Zerwinski. Mikolai Zerwinski.
candidates for master's degrees. Please rise as you are able. <laughs> President Colleen, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by vote of the Senate, I have the honor to present these candidates for the degrees of Master of Architecture, Master of Arts, Master of Design, Master of Fine Arts, and Master of Science. Thank you, Dean Haney. Upon these recommendations and by the authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the master's degree for which you have been presented and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. Congratulations. New master's graduates, please come forward to be recognized by the president, provost, dean, and directors. For the master of architecture degree. Kevin I. Rucker. Emily Kellogg. Rizna Rafi Malouf. Victoria Barbara Jim. Miriam A. Bermeo. Liam F. Boyd. Colin M. Jekka.
Mark A. Melvin. Ashley Nicole Parker. <laughs> Destine Meza. for the Master of Science in Architecture degree. Donovan Dallin Bunn. Cody T. Schuler. <laughs> For the Master of Arts in Design Criticism. For the Master of Fine Arts in Art degree. In Sok Choi. Rabia Tayabi. <laughs> Eleanor Judith Schichtel. Aaron Palavik. <laughs> Aisha Kuda. Derek Holland. Teresita Carson.
for the Master of Arts in Art History degree. Emily Autumn Morgan. Usha Ron. for the Master of Arts in Museum and Ex Exhibition Studies degree. Han Xue. Mustafa Kandiu. Harini Neela Kanthan. <laughs> Elisa Soto Sanchez. Natalie N. Ayala. Alexandra Joan Oliva. Olivia Catherine Chimino. Elizabeth Marriott.
Leanne Kathleen Reem. for the Master of Design degree. Han Chung. Iran Han. Stephen J. Krejci. Sabrina Wen. <laughs> Nahid Shirzad Khan. Malcolm Thompson. Gannon A. Novak. Yeah. 
Viviana Favela. Isabel Claire Norman. <laughs> Joseph Paul Brinkworth. Austin Chase Watson. Ulu <laughs> Ashili Samuel Adelake. Joseph Robert Nottley. <laughs> Alexander Domasic. Mariah Nellison. Congratulations to all of our new master's graduates. Good evening, my name is Tom Moss, Associate Dean for Student Affairs, and it is my honor to present the candidates for the undergraduate degrees in the College of Architecture, Design, and the Arts. Candidates for bachelor's degrees, please rise as you are able. President Colleen, upon the recommendation of the faculty and the vote of the Senate, I have the honor to present these candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Design, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Music, and Bachelor of Science. Thank you, Dean Moss. Upon these recommendations and by the authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree for which you have been presented and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. You may now move your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations. <laughs> now
Will the new bachelor's graduates please come forward to be recognized by the president, provost, dean, and directors. Good evening. For the Bachelor's of Arts in Architectural Studies degree, Isabella Alvarez. Danielle Ong. Eliza Rubio. Leonardo Manuel Gonzalez. Eric Manjares. Lisa Renee McClay. Ashbatari. <laughs> Bianca Maria Cataldo. <laughs> Alia Oren. <laughs> Charles Louis Lafon. Joseph Anthony Wygonski. Elizabeth Ann Lusk. Philip G. Zanchina. And now for the Bachelors of Science in Architecture degree. Jose Perez. <laughs> Mateusz Jan Potrowski. <laughs> Mega Sendil. Dan Khan Ni Mai. That's Dira Flores. Erica Ulyssa Vidalis. <laughs> Fabian Perez. Luis S. Gomez. Christian Rivera. Cristobal Montoya. Liliana Zaragoza. Shivani Chetan Vyas. Jasmine Berenice Ayala. Yeah. 
Suha S. Ali. Miriam F. Abdul Rahim. Bao Tuan Tran. Raya M. Hariri. Denny Shuley. Jack B. Miller. Shreya Hamansharoy Brambach. Naya Tsai. <laughs> Esther Mombi. <laughs> Nikola Yosifovich. Miguel Angel Quintero. Fatima J. Flores. Samuel Sandoval. Ashmol Al Nur Ali, Connor C. Burke, Michael J. Laufenberg. Alexis Antoinette Rapaz. <laughs> Destiny Amber Yanez. <laughs> Alyssa D. Barr. Evelyn Yao. <laughs> Justin McLaughlin. <laughs> Arelli gets some money, Mario. <laughs> Michael M. Cozio. Olivia F. Lewis. <laughs> Molly Page Newman. <laughs> Roger Hanny Awad H. Levine. Mohammed T. Zigar. <laughs> William R. Lathrop. <laughs> Arnie Santoyo. <laughs> to Win Pham. Kayla E. Francis. Kiana Angelina Negron. <laughs> Kelly Jia Lee.
Emma J. Schreiner. Carl Joseph Mendoza Sayoyao. Devin J. Keenan. Camille Matea. Carlos Raul Lemus. Angie Michelle Ramirez. Uriel Alexis Gutierrez. <laughs> Kenneth E. Castillo. Luis Octavio Romero. Ipsel A. Rodriguez. Sebastian E. Tibu. Juan L. Aguilera. Ritik Nitin Somaya. Mother Mittal. Almarez. G. E. Kwan. Wu Jia E. Damari Trashan Williams. It's my privilege to present the Bachelor's in Fine Arts and Art degree, class of 2023. Congratulations. Janelle I. Berrios. Guillermo Zacarias. Danielle Barrera. Saul Martinez. Brenda Camargo. Gabriel Silvano. Martin Lopez. Thank you so much. Jing May. Matthew P. Yemet. Grace Nancy Cheldikas. Megan Nicole Eastwood. Miles Turner. Tao Na Ming Nguyen. Kimberly K. Basili. Brock Vander Wrigley. Yeah. 
Deepika, Deepika Govindaraj. Good evening for the Bachelor of Arts in Art History degree. Vey Faulkner. <laughs> Emma Verrill. <laughs> Harka Smith. Megan de Guzman Rosuelo. Tavon Kelly. <laughs> Daniel Mota. for the Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Education in the Arts degree. Daniel Mota. <laughs> Francis Jeanette Figueroa. Gabriela Ivelis Figueroa. <laughs> Veronica A. Lee. Javier E. Polonese. David J. Franklin. <laughs> Shuang Chan Wang. <laughs> Jin Hao Jiao. Yasmin Dayanara Ramirez. <laughs> Diana Carolina Ruiz. <laughs> Anandita Vidyarti. Emmy R. Gray. Andrea C. Araujo. Good evening. For the Bachelor of Fine Arts in Art Education with a professional teaching license to teach the visual arts at, visual arts at all the grade levels, kindergarten to grade 12. Alexandra V. Kulikowski. <laughs> Juliana M. Kowalczyk.
Joanna Bonilla Resendez. Francisco Modesto Thornton Gonzalez. <laughs> Nayeli Pineda. Janet Morales. Faye S. Gilbert. Alexandra Svadlena. <laughs> Amy Rodriguez. Michaela D. Lasky. <laughs> Sergio Adrian Padilla. For the Bachelor of Design in Graphic Design. Jin Jin Zhang Sr. Elizabeth Hernandez. Truan Lan Ann Nguyen. Jocelyn Diaz. Shahira Nashat Alavadin Basha. Trina J. Armitage. Edgar Steve Pineda. Maytach Walanchanurak. Augustine Tenna. Christian Robinson Palacios. <laughs> Eliane A. Roman. <laughs> Caroline J. Swain. Edgar Gonzalez. <laughs> Brenda Janelia Ponte. <laughs> Chris
Christine Chen. Angelica Smeech. Abril Azpetia. Rachel J. Gomez. Jensen Suzanne Hussey. Anais Lourdes Roman. <laughs> Janet T. No. <laughs> Neha A. Samtani. Patrice A. Cando. <laughs> hey Lamb Co. <laughs> Noemi Sarai Jimenez. <laughs> Omar T. Butt. Romario Oshana. <laughs> Dean C. Bartoje. <laughs> Russell Derek Sampson. <laughs> Giovanni Aguilar. John Jung Hyun Lee. For the Bachelor of Design in Industrial Design. Manasa Ganesh. Aiden Wolf Buckley. Rachel M. Bazinius. Ajax Giwa. Terrace A. Randolph. Mary Oluwatosin Alabi. Kanad Harendra Samaya. Miles E. Allison. Andres Ivan Arroyo. Uriel Carmona. Claire Vachery Gailey Pantel. Goda Katrina Kerpalis. Jimena Angeles Franco. Anita V. Gadash. Audrey Lynn Opfer. Anaya. (laughs) 
Dulce M. Guerrero. For the double degree, Bachelor of Design in Industrial Design and Graphic Design. Cody Moore. For the Bachelor of Arts in Design Studies. Natalia Symbolisti. Anna Chen. Rachel Valle. For the Bachelor of Arts in Music degree. Sarah Estilo. Jared Andrew Ruby. Roberto Rodriguez, Jr. <laughs> Philip Wei C. Su. <laughs> Esperanza Salgado. Gabrielle Claire Jones. <laughs> Caleb Christian Fetzer. <laughs> Eduardo Alonso. For the Bachelor of Arts in Music Business degree. Emily Ruth Fine. Chasen Javon Rice. Caroline Mialewski. Jericho L. Kadusali. Noemi A. Marquecho. Mark William Watson. Frederick Lane. Isabella Stephanie Perez. For the Bachelor of Music in Jazz Studies degree. George Oliver Grunditz. Jaden Neriel Israel Washington. For the Bachelor of Music in Performance degree. Luis Angel Lema. Susan Erica Lavalli.
for the Bachelor of Arts in Theater and Performance degree. Brian Presley Martinez. Frank C. Meddy. Christopher I. Guthrie. Angelina Davila. Allison Giselle Masonet. Natalia Rivera. Jillian Dunlap. Alexandra Rosas. Aisha J. Romer. for the Bachelor of Arts in Theater Design Production and Technology degree. Alyssa Morales. <laughs> Daniel James Dobrovolsky. <laughs> Reagan Stevenson. Chelsea Romo. Rachel S. Hawkins. Brittany H. Pearson. Fernando Chayanne Rosales. And last but not least, for the Bachelor of Fine Arts in Acting degree. Sydney Hannah Litka. James Norman. Eileen Moreno. Emma Elizabeth Ariano. Allison M. Carmody. <laughs> Ethan E. Chet. <laughs> Ariana Lopez. Ilya G. Schaefer.
Once again, will you join me in congratulating this year's new bachelor's degree graduates. Congratulations. I would like to recognize and give special thanks to Nicholas Carlson and the members of the UIC Wind Ensemble and to Liza Khaleesi Maidens and the UIC Choirs for their excellent addition to this commencement celebration. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the UIC staff members whose efforts made today's celebration possible. UIC staff members contribute in so many important ways to the function of our enormous and complex institution, and we owe them our gratitude for their excellence. Thank you to Kevin Bethune for delivering this evening's keynote address. Thank you. Thank you to Olivia Lewis for delivering the student response. Where'd she go? There she is. And one final recognition remains. Parents, guardians, spouses, partners, and children of our graduates, please rise as you are able and again accept our thanks and congratulations. Now will all the UIC faculty, administrators, and graduates please rise if you are able so that we can give you one final standing ovation congratulating you on your, on your accomplishment. Congratulations, graduates. All right, after the, the platform party and faculty have completed their recessional march, graduates will exit through the door behind the stage. Family members and guests, please meet your graduate outside. Banner carriers, please come forward to retrieve your banners. Thank you all and congratulations. This concludes commencement 2023.